Hello everyone, long time no see. Last time I filmed was a vlogmas. Um, but I'm back and better than ever. Today I'm gonna to be answering your questions about my boob job. Um, I've not done this since just after my boob job. I did um, a video, I will link it in the cards here just after. So if you wanna see what my fresh opinions were contrasted to now, go back and look at that. Oh, my dog's come to say hi. Say hello, baby. Hello. So I'm filming this because it's coming up to a year, um, but when it comes up to a year, I will have freshly moved out and I won't really have time to film it. Um, and I just, I really wanna do this video, so I thought I'd do it. It's not far off a year, so we're just gonna call this a one year post op because nothing's gonna change in the space of a month. So before I start this video, I just wanna make a disclaimer that I am not promoting this boob job, I am not promoting plastic surgery, and I am not telling you to go get it, but this is just for people who have considered it, thought about it, and just want some reassurance. Um, I have got a vlog from the day as well, if you want to, it'll be up in the cards if you wanna go watch that so you can see the whole day um, and stuff like that. So I have got a vlog from it. But yeah, I just wanted to make that disclaimer before I start. This is just purely my experience. The first question is, what made you want a boob job? I'd wanted one. In my first video, I said I'd wanted one since I was like 13 and everyone was like, well, you don't even have boobs when you're 13, blah, blah, blah. Not that I wanted, wanted one. Like I was like, yeah, my boobs aren't coming in. But as soon as I hit 13, I was like, all of my other friends had like boobs and I was like I don't have anything and I know that's quite normal to, when you're 13 but I, I can't remember if I said 13 or 14 but around that time and I thought I'd, I remember saying to myself look if I'm still feeling insecure about this when I hit like 16, 17 when everyone is pretty much fully developed um, I will consider getting one. I knew I wanted one when I'd hit 16 and everyone else had boobs and I didn't. That sounds so silly to think it was because everyone else has them, so I want them, but it was just an insecurity I had and I, I wanted to fix it. That's what made me want the boob job, um, but that was just personally why I wanted it. Um, it was just an insecurity and I decided to fix it because I was very, very grateful that I was in a position where I could fix it, so I thought, let's go fix it. So a very highly asked question is how much was it? Now mine, I believe, was £6,146. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. It was something weird, like not quite, perfect price um but yeah it was round there now if i got it done at a local um pr a private hospital um because the surgeon that works there had been recommended to me by a bunch of people um and i was referred to by a friend um to him and he was amazing his name was brendan muller uh, and it was at the spire in anleby um which is just outside of Hull or in Hull. Technically, it's not in Hull, um, but yeah, so it wasn't, it, that, that is a very good price for a boob job. I didn't have anything else apart from a boob job. I didn't have a nipple correction or a lift or anything. It was purely just implants. Pretty good price, because if you go down to London and things, it's it's in the tens of thousands. Um, but yeah, because obviously I live up north, it is a lot cheaper. When did I get it done? I got my boob job on the 5th of April, 2022. Yeah, 2022. Um, that's weird. Because in my head I'm still in 2022 but I'm not in 2023. But yeah, I got it done on the 5th of April 2022. And I'm filming this on 24th of February. So, January, February, March, April. We're like two months out. Not even that. We're like a, a month out of it. So I thought, I'll film it now. It's, a lot of people just said, just explain the process. So the process is you go for one consultation and then you go for another consultation and if you want any consultations after that you can uh, but I didn't, I just had two consultations because I knew I wanted it, he was really reassuring and I had, usually consultations aren't that like that lengthy like people think you're going for like an hour, it's not but I had a longer consultation because I was asking so many questions that's something I recommend, if you're in the consultation ask as many questions as you want, they're not going to care like they just want to prioritise you and make sure you're okay if you've got a surgeon anyway uh, but yeah they won't mind you asking as many questions as you want i asked so many questions it's unbelievable uh, but yeah so i had my first consultation asked lots of questions only thing i will say and a lot of people say this is if you go to that consultation you will want it sounds silly but they just reassure you on everything they're not trying to persuade you they're not trying to sell you it they're just trying to make sure that you definitely want this and that it's suited to you um but yeah because i got offered two different types of boob job I got offered an implant um or I had um fat transfer but I couldn't have really done that I didn't have enough fat they would have had to take it like out of my ass or something and we don't we don't want to be coming in for a BBL the year later do we no no we don't in your first consultation you're basically just saying I want one what can you tell me about it you get all your information and then if you want a second consultation they'll give you an appointment for a second consultation in the second consultation is where you choose your size your shape 
um, I'll get into what I chose later. Your size, your shape, um, whether you want it under the muscle or over the muscle, I'll explain all this in a minute. Um, and he, your surgeon will show you like previous, um, but like boobs he's done. That's what my surgeon did anyway. And then you can also show him photos of boobs you don't like. Um, I showed him quite a few photos of boobs that I don't like and boobs that I do like so he could get a proper understanding of what I wanted. Uh, and then after the consultation, you get your appointment for your surgery if you want to go ahead. Um, so mine was on the 5th of April, my surgery. And I had gone in, I, mean, I got it at the end of Feb. So another question was how how long after your last consultation did you get it done? So mine will have been about two, three weeks, I think, or maybe a month. It's not a long process because from my first consultation, I had a second consultation two weeks later, and then I had my surgery three or four, two, three, four, I can't remember. It will go three weeks later. So in total, it was three, six week process. So it's a very quick process in like booking it all in and everything, if it has space, of course. And then obviously you go, personally for me, I went into the private hospital at 4pm. I went down for my surgery at half five, quarter to six. Um, and you see the anesthesiologist and he explains everything like putting you under. You do go under, by the way. Um, and then I had a nurse that was monitoring me before I went to my surgery. Um, but yeah, they just ask you a bunch of bunch of questions. One thing I forgot to tell them was that I was allergic to codeine and someone has asked, I'm putting loads of questions in one here. Someone has asked what medication did you get put on afterwards? Um, and what did you have at the time? So at the time, obviously I had morphine and things like that in the surgery. Um, and I was high afterwards. Like I was chatting utter shit. Like afterwards, like Chris got videos of me like, it's embarrassing um but yeah i was just babbling afterwards because you're just so high on the drugs and then i was just put on paracetamol and ibuprofen and then it was really 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 uncomfortable and my scars were hurting my actual boobs like it was sore to like move but it wasn't hurting but my scars were because they were like tingling because obviously you've just been cut up and sewn back up it's gonna hurt um but yeah so then i asked for a, something stronger and they gave me codeine and i forgot to tell them that i was allergic but i didn't know they were I, they, they must have told me it was codeine, but I was that high, I just did not clock, and I forgot to tell them, so that's on me. So I was throwing it up, but then I was then still in pain, so they had to give me more. They gave me it about two, three times, and then I went, sorry, can I just ask, what have you given me? And they went, codeine, and I was like, I'm allergic. They were like, well, we did tell you it was codeine. I was like, I was high, I was high. So afterwards, they gave you codeine as my prescription drug, but I was allergic, so I couldn't have it, and they couldn't really give me anything else. They just said, have some ibuprofen and paracetamol. So that's all I was on ibuprofen and paracetamol. They also give you laxatives, because codeine can, like, make you constipated. Um, but I, obviously, I didn't use the codeine, so I didn't need the laxatives. Next question, how long did they take to heal? So, to fully heal, I would say mine are fully, fully healed now. Um, because someone also asked, mine are slightly uneven after my boob job. Is that normal? Now, I, I can't speak because I'm about about your experience, because I'm not a surgeon, it might not be normal for you, but it might be normal for me, I'm not sure. But personally, my surgeon explained to me that one might drop slightly quicker than the other, because I had different size implants. I had a bigger one in one and a smaller one in the other. I might be grabbing my boobs like this, it's just easy to, do you know what I mean? Um, so I had a bigger one in one and a smaller one in the other, and he said, the laws of gravity, the heavier one, will drop slightly. Now. It was the slightest bit different and I was freaking out because I forgot he told me that and I called the surgery I was like please can I just have like a phone consultation because I was really busy I was like please can I just have a phone consultation or something with Brendan and I was like Brendan my boobs are uneven can you fix it and he was like it's completely normal I literally told you this I was like oh yeah but it depends if you've got the same size implants your body just might be dropping differently but I would 100% recommend asking your surgeon because things can happen it can fall in the wrong place it can go in the wrong socket it just depends and it 99% isn't 99% of the time isn't your surgeon's fault. It's just how your body's reacted to it. Um, but yeah, that happened to me. So just ask your surgeon and it's completely normal. I've got friends that it's happened to um, and things like that. So just ask your surgeon. I'm not speaking for them. I would say mine are fully healed. Like they say it takes like a year. Obviously it's been like a year now and now mine are fully even. Um, they're really, they like, they have like this drop and fluff process. So they'll drop. So when you first get them done, you will freak out. I was like, my boobs best not be this big because bloody Nora, they were huge because it was so swollen um, and obviously they're like up here I could probably have licked my nipple if I wanted to like I'm being deadly serious like they're really high up um, but then they drop and fluff so 
at the start they'll be really bulged out like all the way out here and you'll be like i have made the worst decision of my life but they drop and fluff do you know what i mean they drop and get softer now they just feel like normal boobs like honestly someone also asked how do they feel like it sounds weird but you can like move them slightly i'm doing it right now you can move them slightly but you can do that with your boob do you know what i mean but you can like move them in like if i tried hard enough i could probably feel the implant if i wanted to um but they just feel like normal boobs I, I, I had a size B before, and now I'm a D, a double D. Um, I'm more of a double D now. Um, but yeah, leading on from that, someone asked me, what size, like, CC did you get and what shape? So, I'm just going to clarify. You will walk in to the consultation and you will say, I want a D. But they don't just give you a D cup. Like, so they take your breast tissue and a size implant to make up the size of a D, if you know what I'm trying to say. Um, so I had a B before, so then he put an implant in that would make it a D. Do you see what I mean? So like, for example, I have a, I know someone who has an A cup and then became a D cup and she got a way bigger CC than me because I was a B cup. Do you see what I'm saying? Because they just equal it out. Um, but yeah, I said I want to be a D slash double D and I came out. I'm sort of in between. I would say I'm more of a double D just because I feel more comfortable having like a bigger bra on to like keep them in. That's just me though. But yeah, so I got a 255cc in this boob and 285cc in this boob because this one was a lot smaller than this one. I had uneven boobs like you would never believe. Like I know it's normal for one boob to be bigger than the other. That's just how our boobs are made. They're not they're not they're not twins, they're sisters. Um but yeah, even now, like he said, I'm gonna try my hardest to get them even, like they are as even as a boob can be. Do you know what I mean? Like I got, also I got a round implant so you can get teardrop uh, all round and I got mid profile. Is that what it's called? I can't even remember. There's like low, medium, high profile and I think I got a medium profile. So obviously they just, it just depends how much you want them to like protrude. So I got the mid profile because I didn't want them to be too low and I didn't want them to be like out here. So I got the mid. Someone asked, would you ever go any bigger? No. This is like the perfect boob size for me so me, like if your surgeon doesn't do this rethink because they will basically measure you and see what will be proportionate to your body you can get whatever size you want i could have walked in and be like can i get a double g and he'd be like um yeah but let's just see if they're proportionate but you can get whatever you want but your surgeon will advise you on what will look best proportionate to your body um and mine was a d slash double d which was perfect because that's what I wanted. But yeah, I would never go any bigger. These like the perfect size. Like these are like my dream boobs. And you would hope so if I paid six grand for them. Do you know what I mean? Like they're my dream titties. Someone asked, do you have to get them redone? So every 10 years you have to get them redone. But it depends how your body reacts. So my surgeon said he had someone that had, had them in for I think he said like 20 years or something. And the body was just really good and reacted really well and kept them really nice but they say after 10 years you have to come in and they have to assess you and see if they need replacing or not um and i'm pretty sure you do have to pay for it otherwise surgeons would not make money but yeah you do have to pay for it someone said did you get anxious so weirdly no and i have bad anxiety so i thought i was going to be having like a panic attack but I was just so excited. Uh, I did get anxious at one point. So before my first consultation, I got anxious because I was at Christian, because Chris was taking me. I was at Christian. I am not going in to a room for a man to touch my titties. It isn't happening. And he's like, Poppy, you want the boob job? Just go. He was like, it's going to be fine. Think about how many boobs he sees on a, on a daily. Like, he's not going to care. And I was like, yeah, that's true. So if you're anxious to go, think about how many tits he sees a day. A lot. So, do you know what I mean? He's seen all sorts, so he's not going to judge yours. It's literally his job. So that's when I got anxious. And then after the, the first consultation, I was gassed. Like, actually gassed. I was like, right, yeah, I'm getting it. Then after that, because I'd got comfortable with my surgeon, I was totally fine. Got to the hospital, fine. Did before, fine. It was when I was walking down to the surgery. So many girls say this to me that I've spoken to that have had boob jobs. They don't get anxious at all. But when you're walking down to surgery in your gown and shit, and your little neck, hair cap thing hair net you are anxious as hell i lay down on the bed and he was like are you okay i was like i'm just feeling a bit anxious he was like it's okay we're gonna put you to sleep now and i was like oh put it in me i can't deal with this how soon were you back on your feet after the surgery so the first week i was bed bound however i went out when i shouldn't have so my friend was having a birthday lunch 
and I'd already committed to it and I thought it was like day three post op I think and I was like yeah I'm up for it because you will feel like you want to get up but I promise you stay in bed for a week oh my life so I went to his party and I was like stood up for a solid hour and I was like yeah I Chris take me home you can go back Chris but take me home I got back I was crying I was like why have I done this because your body's so not used to it and it's pressing down on the stitches and I still had bandages on my stitches so it was pressing down so much and it hurt so bad and I just absolutely done myself in so then I had I ended up staying in bed like t two days more than a week so I was in bed for nine days um but I really wasn't because I was up and out for a whole day. So really I was in bed for eight days. So yeah, you're bed bound for about a week and I would recommend definitely staying in bed for that week. Um, and then after that, after that week, I was pretty all right. Like I would have to like take it easy. But I would say after a week or two, I was back to normal. Um, obviously it was weird getting used to having like actual boobs on my body. But um, yeah, no, I was fine after that. So yeah, like two weeks and I felt fine although you do still get like weird sensations like i got these like popping fizzing sensations they're normal because obviously your nerves like detach um, and they have to like reattach my nipples no sensation it freaked me out i had a panic attack because i couldn't feel my nipples like you, you think now i can't feel my nipples but when you touch them obviously you can feel them i'm totally just touching my nipples while i'm saying this to you but for a solid like four weeks i had five weeks i had no sensation in my nipples and it would freak me out but you get me that popping and fizzing sensations that were so uncomfortable like they made me feel like queasy because it was like oh oh i can't to, i wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy like none of it was painful the scars were painful when i had the bandages on because obviously your boobs are dropping and it's pressing down on the scars and there's bandages in the way but you get your bandages off after a week anyway um but yeah you can't take a shower for a week either until you get your bandages taken off um it's just like a small bandage like under your boob there um so yeah chris had to like lower me into the bath and i was like i'm dying but that's the only thing that made me like I slept the whole night through as well, but like I would have to get in the bath to like relax my muscles because I was like tensing so much because I was like uncomfortable. It wasn't painful per se, it was more uncomfortable. It was the most uncomfortable feeling ever, like not being able to move and lifting my, no, no thanks. But yeah, no, in total, it was definitely worth it. What was an absolute essential that you took? Take a neck pillow. Oh my days, it saved my life. Every girl I've ever met that's had a boob job says, take a neck pillow. And they were right, like, saves your ass in hospital and at home, use it at home. Because that's the only thing that made me, like, sleep through the night. Um, but yeah, like I said, definitely, like, get, like, a bath just, like, here, like, below your boobs down. It relaxes all your muscles. It makes you feel so much better. Um, but yeah, no, neck pillow. Neck pillow. If you get anything... I'll take anything from this video and you want a boob job or you're getting a boob job, neck pillow, I promise you. What symptoms came after? So I just talked about the popping and fizzing sensations and things. And for about, up until about a month ago, you, I would get like stabbing pains, which is so normal. Um, I promise you it's normal. If it's like excruciating and getting to the point where it's like not livable, go see your surgeon. Um, I would recommend that anyway, but it's just like slight stabbing pains. Like like you would get in your boobs anyway. Like every girl knows sometimes you get stabbing pains in your boobs. Um, so I got stabbing pains, but at the start it was like painful stabbing pains, but that was normal. And then like up till about a month or two ago, I still got like slight ones, but that's just like some nerves still touching, things still settling and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, um, and then obviously like, like I said, restricted movement. Um, what else? I can't think of anything else really. Just like uncomfort and like slight stabbing pains and that fizzing and popping shit that I told you about. But yeah, that's pretty much it. When did you start wearing normal bras? So I believe I wore my support bra for six or eight weeks. I can't remember. That's what my surgeon told me to do. It was like six or eight weeks. I really can't remember. Um, and then he said to me, don't go get measured yet. Wait, I think, I can't remember what he said. I think he said wait about six months or something. I can't really remember. But he said, don't go get measured yet because it's not going to be true size because they'll still have swelling in them. They want to drop properly, blah, 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 all that stuff. So about, so I used to just get like cheap bras from like Primark and Asda. Um, because I still needed to wear a normal bra, but I didn't want to like go spend loads of money on bras that might not even fit me in the future, which I'm glad because I was getting a D and then I ended up being a double D. Um, but yeah, after about six months, I went and got measured and I was a 34 double D. I was a 30 bar double D. Um, so yeah, and then that's the bra, I get bra size I get now, and I wear pretty bras now. 
Do you regret it? Not at all. Not at all. It was the best thing I ever did. Best money I've ever spent. I swear on my life. People think I'm weird for saying that, but honestly, if you have an insecurity, imagine, right, your biggest insecurity, getting fixed and it working out. Like, oh my days, it was so, I just felt so confident. I can't explain the confidence, like, oh my days. I don't regret it in the slightest. Best thing I've ever done for myself, ever in my life. Last question, how have your scars healed? I'll show you. Um, oh, this is, if someone walks past my garden, I swear to God, but literally, that's my scar. You can barely, that, that one, there is literally no scar, like. Are you kidding me? Because basically, Everyone thinks that they like cut your entire boob open and shove an implant in there. No, they cut the smallest incision. It's about this big. And imagine, I can't, obviously, I don't know because I wasn't awake during my surgery, but I've seen videos. So, a like cake piper thing to like pipe icing on a cake. They put the implant in there and like squeeze it into you. That sounds terrifying, but it looks good. So, yeah, um, so they don't need a big incision at all, and then obviously they, like, do whatever they're gonna do. The procedure was about an hour and a half long, um, but yeah, I didn't, like, come to and realise for ages, and I was in recovery shouting, I've got boobs! I've got boobs! In front of all the nurses and all the doctors, and any other patients that were in recovery. And I got back to my room, and Chris was there. So yeah, I was allowed to visit, and it was sort of, like, it was still when hospitals were, like, really strict on COVID, um, but because it was a private hospital, I was allowed one visit uh, in, um, and he came after my surgery. He wasn't allowed in before, but he came after um, for about an hour or two. It felt like 20 minutes to me, but apparently it was there for, like, an hour or two, but I was high. Um, but, yeah, the scars healed really, really well. Um, I did use bio oil for about two months, and then I just forgot and stopped using it, and it healed perfectly. So, if you can't bother to do bio oil... It didn't matter because I only did it for about two months on and off. So, yeah. But, yeah, that's all the questions I'm going to ask. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It has been highly recommended on my Instagram every time I do questions. Um, but it's taken me a while because I wanted to do it close to my one year. So, let's just call this a one year personal. Okay. Um, but, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If, if you want to see more videos from me, please let me know because I want to get back on my YouTube grind. I've been uploading loads of YouTube shorts as well, guys. Um, so if you want to keep up to date on like my little things that I do in my life and not just like these type of videos, go over to my shots. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!